Dr. Bartels, a vet from the Wildlife Biological Resource Center in Johannesburg, is confident that his lion sperm bank could help save the lion. We've been collecting uh, sperm from lion donors for the last four or five years, and in fact, that's what our project does. We collect biomaterials from wild populations and keep them as an insurance policy for the future. In order to collect lion sperm, uh, first of all, from live animals, they are darted. So we mobilize them because you certainly don't want to be working uh, with an awake uh, lion when you collect sperm from him. Uh, we have to be uh, obviously very careful. If the drug hasn't worked properly, he can still jump up and grab. It has happened once before. Do have an injury from a lion. I was extremely lucky, but he did grab my arm. The lion is deeply sedated, but the clock is ticking. Dr. Bartles has only a matter of minutes to collect the sperm before the lion wakes up. OK, so one of the first things we want to do is Look at this guy's important part, which is the testes. A short blast of electricity is all it takes. Dr. Bartle's lion sperm bank already has samples from 25 lions, but he hopes to collect a thousand samples over the next couple of years and inject this genetic diversity into pride. And you don't have to do it too often. Uh, that's the beauty about it. You only have to filter in genes every 12 to 15 years uh, within a particular isolated lion population. So it's not the kind of, you're not going to see guys driving around with white coats and, and these, these pickups, uh, you know, all equipped and artificially inseminating all lions. That's not going to happen. It is still early days, but hopefully the sperm and tissue samples that are being collected will be a lifeline for lions if they do become critically endangered.